Okay, YouTube folk, if you guys are watching this video, it's probably because you're like me and you bought one of these cheap pools and uh, they don't work that well right out of the box. So some of the problems with them is, is one is the filter system they come with is just not big enough. So if you go to the next size up, I found that works a lot better. The other thing is the uh, filter systems they come with, they do not clean the uh, surface very well. There's no skimmer for most models. So I'm trying to get a picture of this. You might see that kind of embarrassing that pool bottom's dirtier than normal, but it just rained real hard. But um, I noticed that the uh, my homemade skimmer, the uh, hose broke right at the fitting. And uh, so I left it this morning and thought, all right, maybe I'll, uh, leave it for this afternoon when you guys are looking to maybe make a inexpensive skimmer I'll show you what I've done um, like I said I bought a off the internet a slightly bigger pump than what came with it and then uh, I repiped everything maybe uh, we'll make another video on that if we get enough people showing interest anyhow the way I did my skimmer was I took an old chlorine tablet bottle and I cut slots in it, put it on a, a PVC, and I connect it to the side with a bilge pump pipe that you can buy at Home Depot. Now, it ain't perfect. You do have to pay attention to the um, water level, but and uh, I put valves in, you can see here, so I can adjust. That's wide open on the uh, on one of the intakes. And I found that uh, about halfway is about perfect as far as it increases the suction to the one connected to the skimmer. And uh, we had a bunch of bugs after the rain last night, so I kind of left it in here and I'll let you decide how well you think this works. I said the um, you do have to pay attention to the water level and I'm not suggesting you do this by any means because if you uh, let your water level get too low and um, the pump is running you could be sucking in air and as we all know that would ruin your pump so it's just one of those things I tend to uh, come out here daily and check on the pool and, uh, I've just found that if you don't turns green and you just you're better to stay on top of it on a daily basis check the chemical levels and whatnot but you can kind of see here I'll zoom in a little bit you can see how the little insects that are floating they just seem to get collected right in there I guess I got lucky on the size of the holes and the slots like I said I took a little playing with to get it but um, that's how I did it really that complicated uh, you will need some parts and pieces and like I said if I get enough people asking questions maybe I'll do another video and get a little more in depth on what I used and how I built it anyhow good luck with your pool